After Effects Lesson 14, Advanced Editing Techniques. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to stabilize a, cam a shaky camera shot. We're going to use single point motion tracking to track one object in the shot to another object in the shot. We'll remove unwanted objects from video using content-aware fill. We will create a particle system and we'll use time warp effect to create slow motion video. So to get started, you need to uh, go ahead and open up After Effects. The, le the uh, files that you will need for this lesson, let me show you. There is a number of them. Lesson 14. You'll need this boats, crab, goldfish, koala, and spinning dog. There is also a uh, start, lesson 14 start files. You'll need all those. When you start After Effects, might be a good idea to reset uh, After Effects by when you, as soon as you open it, click Control, Alt, and Shift. Answer yes, and it'll reset everything. I uh, found that it makes things uh, smoother sometimes, things get caught up in there. So, the first one we're going to do, which is uh, the camera shake, let's do new project. New project? No, there we go. Click File, Save As, and we're going to name this Lesson 14, your name, and Stabilize. And then click Save. Then we're going to click New Composition from Footage. And we're going to go to your Lesson 14 Assets, wherever you have those. And we're going to open up the Boats and import that. After Effects creates a new composition named Boats with the same pixel size, aspect ratio, frame, ration, frame rate, and duration of the source clip. So if you press Space, layer, choose animation, I'm going to get this back at the beginning, choose animation, and then warp stabilizer VFX, You can see that mine is spinning. You have this, it's going to come up analyzing in background. Then an orange banner will come up in a second. And it says initializing. And depending on the speed and how good your computer is, is going to depend on how long it takes. See, mine is now stabilizing. It took mine probably 90 seconds to do the first part. And you could view it up here where it, where it had a little timeline. So mine is complete. It took a couple of minutes to do it. Wasn't that bad. So when it's finished stabilizing and that orange banner has disappeared, press the space bar to preview the changes. is still shaky but it's smoother than it was initially. Warp Stabilizer VFX moved and repositioned the footage. To see how it applied changes, view the effects in the effects control panel. For example, the clip's borders were scaled up to about 107%.
for mine is on mine actually was 113.1. So it, that hides the black gaps that occur when the image is repositioned in that process. And we're going to adjust some of these things to make it a little bit better. And the effects control panel increased the smoothness to about 79. Warp stabilizer, you saw immediately began stabilizing again. It doesn't need to analyze it because that initial uh, initial analysis data is stored in its memory. When it's finished, With this setting, Warp Stabilizer VFX attempts to lock the camera in position. This requires even more scaling. When no motion is selected, the smoothness option is dimmed. When the orange banner disappears, preview changes again. stabilizer uses for an even smoother results. In the effects controls panel, choose position from the method menu. We want to choose stabilize only. Oh, excuse me. Method, we're going to choose position. And then in the borders, stabilizing only framing. Increase additional scale to 119. And then preview the changes. So move the work area start marker to 15. Drag this over to 15 and then choose composition and then trim comp to work area. Preview the changes. Stabilizing a shot can have drawbacks. To compensate for the movement or rotation applied to the layer, the frames have to be scaled, which could ultimately degrade the footage. However, if you must use a shaky shot in your production, this may be the best compromise. So what I want you to do before you do anything else, call me over to your desk. I want to see on your effects controls that you've done set this to no motion. You stabilize it. It's 119. And then ex after you've shown me that, export the MP4 to submit for grading.